Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the StreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. What we're going to do here is a simple video to help people who are trying to set up a remote control on their Roku in order to control their TV. What you're going to do is take your remote and toggle down to the settings. Now we are assuming that your remote has been synced. If it hasn't been synced, you're going to have to take the battery back off the battery cover and hold down the little button until it blinks. Once it does that, it will sync with your Roku, just in case you've never noticed that before. But once this is done, what you're going to do is go into the settings on your Roku. We're making our way there slowly and but surely so that you can follow along. You can press OK and move over to where it says Remotes and Devices and press OK. Here you see the remotes, and in my case, I have an enhanced voice remote. This is on a Roku Ultra. Yours might not say enhanced voice remote, or yours might be one of the brand new ones that's, you know, battery operated and has the extra features. If so, good for you. Press OK, and you're going to go down to the section that says Set Up Remote for TV Control. Press OK. And here it's going to try to look for the type of TV you've got. You see it says TV brand. And in our case, this is a Hisense Roku powered TV. It can get pretty confusing on our end when we're setting up a Roku separately from the TV. But, you know, we're professionals. We can handle it. So, as you type it in, it's going to find Hisense. And it asks you, is there music playing? As long as your volume is turned up, you'll hear a, a simple little tune. We do hear it. We're just not putting it in the video because reasons with YouTube. So we're going to say, yes, it has stopped playing. And that's it. You tell it you can hear it. You tell it you can't hear it. And that's it. Now the remote control is set up to control the volume. It will mute the TV if so, and it can also control the power on the TV. It essentially makes your TV like a full-powered Roku TV without the antenna option. But boy, is that helpful for older TVs where you might have broken the old remote or can't find it, which was the case with one television we have in the house here. So that's it. That is the whole way to go. Now, if you're looking for other information on Roku and you can't find it in a video that we've done, Roku does have a channel called Roku Tips and Tricks. And this has some other things about setting things up, removing channels, some basic Roku functions. We've got some videos on that stuff too, but after Roku had been around for a couple of years, you know, maybe they saw how popular content like that was and put it all together in their own channel. But that's always a good channel to have on hand, especially if you're giving the Roku as a gift to somebody who isn't so familiar with it. But we just want to review what we just showed you. So one more time. Settings. Remotes Devices. Click on the remote that you've got. Go to Setup TV for Remote Control. We, you know, we typed in Hisense before. But the truth is, is that you can type in other things. I mean, you know, it won't necessarily work, but just to show you, it's not like it only works with things that are Roku powered. So if you have a Vizio TV like a lot of us do out there because they're such pretty TVs at such a good cost, you can also do that. But again, we have Hisense. We're going to do it. And again, is the music playing? We said no this time so you can see what it tells you to do. You always want to make sure that whatever you your normal TV controller is on hand so that you can make sure that the volume is turned up or down depending on what's going on. Otherwise, it will sort of mess up the whole test. But again, it's just a couple of questions and that's it. Gone, gone, gone are the days of remotes where you had to look up some 20-digit code and type it in. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, please subscribe. Please share this video with your friends because this is an issue that comes up from time to time. 
I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Stream on, my friends.